Yo, what's up guys? It's Butter House in the house. Lit coming at you with another two minute tutorial. Today, we're gonna learn how to clamp. Yeah, we're gonna be learning the clamping skill. Pioneered by the legend Edward Van Gils. It's a really, really cool trick that can be applied in so many use cases, both in ground moves, but also in any type of street soccer match, yeah? So here we go, two minutes to teach you the trick. This is how clamping looks. Hey, clamp. Hey, yeah. Hey, hey. So that little combo I just showed you there is that is what I'm gonna teach you guys here to begin with, okay? As always, we're gonna do a little bit of bonus thing. I'm gonna teach you a little bit more advanced stuff for the guys who already know how to clamp. So stay tuned for that. All right guys, so clamping, yeah? I'm gonna show you. The idea about clamping, yeah? Is that your foot is gonna lock the ball in place onto the ground, yeah? So you're gonna have to use force. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the toe clamp, which is super easy. Just try it first, I'll put your foot on top of the ball and then just slide it down until it hits the ground, yeah? Two things can happen here. If you don't apply enough pressure, the ball is gonna kinda go underneath your foot, yeah? That's also a trick. But now you really wanna lock the ball in place. So try and step down with your toe and apply pressure here so the ball sticks to the ground. That's clamping, okay? You can do the same position here. As you put pressure, you can do that the opposite way. So try it. Have the, ball, the foot on top of the ball and just put your foot down like this, your toe here. So you're putting the angle of the ball here, applying pressure. Now you're clamping the ball with your heel. The heel clamp. If you got that down, if you can go from the top of the ball and go down, from the top of the ball and go down, you wanna try now and just find that position directly as the ball is there. So just find that position, yeah? See if you can lift this other leg to make sure it's completely locked. You see? You see how I'm locking it? Just with this foot. The other foot is not even there. You can do it while the foot is there, but just to prove to yourself, go both ways, yeah? Do the same thing with the heel. Lock, yeah? Lock. Now let's try and do the combo, okay? We're gonna start with the heel clamp. Lock, okay? We're gonna turn into the ball now. We're gonna turn our foot here so it rolls this way. We're gonna lock it with our heel. You see how I'm just turning my, my body? I'm locking it with the heel, yeah? So now I can go from toe to heel. Let's try and bring it back here. Toe, heel. Now we're gonna turn over here. We're gonna let it slide on the other side, yeah? Toe. Heel, keep turning, slide. Ah, we heel clamp it with the other foot. So in street soccer, you always want to make sure if you can do something with your right foot, try and see if you can also do it with your left foot. Yeah? If you can do that, you're gonna be able to do this little sweet clamping combo. Okay? Now that is the basics of clamping. And there's gonna be many different ways that you can clamp the ball. Even putting your, your knee on top of the ball onto the ground, you're actually clamping, right? You're locking the ball onto the ground. Yeah? You can also clamp it with the with the, the underneath of your, your calf, you can clamp it. You can clamp it in all kinds of positions, so try and be creative with it. And let's do some, uh, some bonus variations, yeah? I want you to try. I want you to try to see if you can do this. See, let's go right, left. That's the easy one, okay? Make sure you're ambidextrous now. We're gonna do right, switch left. You see how I let go of the ball early? and switch. It's gonna be a little bit hard for you in the beginning. Something that a lot of ballers have been doing recently is doing it even faster. They're going like this. So I actually just recently found out how to do this because I could never do it. Because I was always trying to do what I did before and trying to do that fast is actually really, really hard because the ball moves. But if you want to do really, really fast clampings, the idea is kind of that you don't let go of the ball before you actually switch. So that's why it's like kind of just like you're stepping down. Ah, as you see, and trying to do it as fast as you can. I'm not super good at it, but you can learn that. All right, uh, little variation. See if you can lift, do the clamp, as it goes into the air, down to the ground. Another variation. Let's see if you can do two feet. Ah. Ah. Lots of fun stuff. Using clamping can actually be really efficient in the street soccer game if you're trying to take the ball or trying to make sure that you can keep the ball from the other opponent. Because if you clamp the ball, it's gonna be hard. Take the ball away from you. I'm applying pressure to be quite some force to actually push it away from outside underneath me. So clamping can really be used to position yourself on the ball and put strength to keep the ball for yourself. And for the real hardcore ones out there, we're just gonna have a bonus for the hardcore bowlers out there. This is your challenge, yeah? I want you to clamp with your toe. Clamp like this. Clamp. And I want you to jump into the ball and clamp again. So what I'm doing, I'm clamping with my strong foot. I'm gonna jump into the air, 
I'm gonna push it with my weak foot, and as I land, I'm gonna land back on this foot in a clamp. Hey, see the little touch? Oh. It's a fun little trick where your legs kind of like, duck, duck, try. Duck, duck, duck. Extra high four. Final, final, final one. If this was too easy, we're gonna try to do it with a little cross motion behind us, yeah? Do so you see what I did there? As I jumped into the air, instead of touching it here in front of me, I touch it behind me here. A little touch, yeah? And I catch it again as I land down, yeah? The way to do this is you want to turn your body a little bit as you twist it, or else you won't have the space to do it, yeah? Ah, I forgot to jump there. You want to jump before you touch it. Gives it a better effect. Jump, ah, down. Ah. All right, guys. Thank you for watching today's two minute tutorial. Hope you're enjoying these small basic tutorials for the guys out there who are new. Hope the advanced bowlers out there are also enjoying it. We're trying to, always trying to show you some new stuff, some new stuff you can train on. Remember to press the like button. Remember to subscribe if you haven't yet. And uh, I look uh, forward to seeing you guys uh, in the future again. Uh, let me know in the comments what you thought about this tutorial and what you want to see next. And we will be uh, here very soon again. Fun house, out of the house. See you soon.